Herb Dinenberg is a Philadelphia folk hero who's not afraid to take on anything or anybody. As a man, he's mild-mannered, but as a consumer advocate, he changes into a rabble-rouser. Tonight, he charges out of the closet to give us his views on the legal profession, and he says he's mad as hell, and he's not gonna take it anymore. Go get him, Herb. I'm not a garbage man. I'm a lawyer, a Philadelphia lawyer, with not one law degree, but two. Being in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, and in front of Independence Hall, where great men and great lawyers like Thomas Jefferson and James Madison put together our whole system of liberty and justice for all, it's hard to say this, but let's face it, today in America, the legal profession stinks. I've spent a lot of time dumping lousy products, but I've always had a yearning to dump a whole profession. So here goes, the lawyers in the Denenberg's dump. Chief Justice Warren E. Berger of the U.S. Supreme Court is quoted in this edition of the American Bar Association Journal as saying that much of the conduct of 75 to 85 percent of all trial lawyers borders on malpractice. If the top man running the airlines admitted that 20 percent of all pilots were incompetent, the whole system of air transportation would be closed down immediately. Who's going to correct the situation? Chief Justice Berger says lawyers alone can be the healers. That's like letting the foxes continue to guard the chickens. And we, the public, will continue to get plucked until the lawyers persuade each other to stop plucking us. A Welsh proverb. The houses of lawyers are roofed with the skins of clients. Liberty and justice for all. For all who can afford it. Finding a competent lawyer is tough enough. But an honest and competent lawyer? Forget it. Anyhow, by the time you find a competent lawyer, you're so tired you don't want to ask any questions. You just hope he'll steal from the other side instead of from you. Now you know what that old Norwegian proverb means. Virtue in the middle, said the devil, as he sat between two lawyers. Liberty and justice for all. For all who can find an honest lawyer. But don't be discouraged. Here's one way to find one. This book, The Martindale and Hubble Law Directory, rates lawyers for competence and ethics. We checked the 1968 rating of Richard M. Nixon. Guess what? He gets the highest marks for competence and ethics. What this all comes down to is that you almost need one lawyer to help you hire another lawyer. And then you need a third lawyer to help you watch the second lawyer who's supposed to keep his eyes on the first lawyer. When the Declaration of Independence was signed and when the U.S. Constitution was written in this very room, they never dreamt what legislatures would be like today. They're zoos. The lawyers own them, run them, and are in them. Let's face it, if you can't beat them, join them. We all ought to go to law school if we can get in. Here in Pennsylvania, I once compared lawyer lobbyists to cockroaches swarming through the legislature. And the Pennsylvania Association of Trial Lawyers actually demanded my public apology for that comparison. So again, let me apologize to the cockroaches.